Welcome to Learn Sales for CPQ. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to call screen flow from the code line editor. To call screen flow, first of all, you need to create a custom action. And using custom action, you can call the screen flow. So for now, I have created a one simple screen flow, uh, basically, which will simply text the input of the record ID and uh, display the whole uh, code lines to the UI. So there will be a different scenario where you might need to use the screen flow on the code line editor. For example, you might have requirement where you need to iterate through all the code lines and need to update with any specific value. So the requirement can be anything. It's just that uh, you can create a like separate pop-up screen where you can uh, display the screen flow. You can perform some action there and you can get back to the code again. So here is my screen flow. Uh, I am into that setup mode right now. And if you see here, these are the details. So let's go back to the custom action and create a new record there. Okay, so let me name it uh, screen flow action. Display order can be anything, but for now, let me put it as a 10. And the type should be button. Let me make it as active. And it should be pop up. Now, in order to call the screen flow, you need to specify the URL here. So let's go back to the screen flow details page. And here you can see this is the URL. Okay. Let me copy that and get back to the URL field. Okay, now if I open the screen flow, basically there you need to specify the record ID as an input variable. Here is the record ID. And this is marked as available for input. So while calling the screen flow, you need to specify the record ID as a query string to that URL. So let me go back to the custom action again. And here, along with that, uh, with that uh, URL, I need to specify the query string there. So record ID. So that is like my input variable for the screen flow. And there I need to specify the code value like this. dot it okay so we're done with that url and uh, i need to place it on the code line editor uh, here you can set the icons as well and here is the label so uh, by default uh, the custom label would not be available here so you can go to that object setup and you can add a new picklist value here which i've did already so this is like uh, the label for my custom action, the screen flow. Okay, let me hit the save. All right, so our custom action is ready. Now let's go back to the code and let me hit the refresh there. All right, so here you can see that the uh, screen flow action is now visible. And now if I'm trying to click here, it will open open the pop-up and the screen flow will execute. It will take the code ID as a input. And I have designed like very simple screen flow here, uh, basically, which will take code ID and it iterate through all the code line and display here. So you can have like a screen flow as per the requirement, but the whole demonstration is just for how to make a call out to a screen flow from the code line editor. So that's it for this video. Thank you.